Our immune system is made up of white blood cells found in the blood that destroy pathogens that get into our bodies. This diagram shows a white blood cell. A phagocyte is a type of white blood cell which is found in our blood. Phagocytes are a type of white blood cell that are non-specific. They're known as non-specific because they defend against all pathogens, not just specific ones. For the exam, you don't need to know that phagocytes are non-specific, but you do need to be familiar with white blood cells in general and the different ways in which they defend against pathogens. So then, what do white blood cells do? Phagocytes surround and engulf pathogens before breaking them down. This diagram shows a pathogen. Phagocytes come along, bind to the pathogen and then engulf them, meaning they take them in. Once the pathogen has been engulfed, it gets digested and then destroyed. This process is called phagocytosis. For the exam, you should be able to describe the process of phagocytosis simply as involving engulfing and digesting and destroying pathogens. What about other white blood cells? Pathogens have proteins on their surface called antigens. The small yellow semicircles in this diagram represent the antigens on the surface of pathogens. After exposure to antigens, some white blood cells make chemicals called antibodies, which help to destroy pathogens. In biology, antibodies are often represented in diagrams by this Y shape. You might notice that the shape of these antibodies is complementary to the antigens, but what do antibodies do? Antibodies are unique and target the antigens on the surface of invading pathogens. This diagram shows two unique antigens on pathogens. This means that antibodies are specific to a particular pathogen and we call this our specific immune system. The antibodies also help to clump the pathogens together so they can be more easily engulfed and destroyed by the phagocytes, as we saw previously. Next time we are exposed to the same pathogen, we are less likely to get ill as our bodies respond quicker. The science behind this is the basis of vaccines, which also form part of this course. For the exam, you also need to know this method that white blood cells employ to defend against pathogens. What about other white blood cells? Other white blood cells produce antitoxins. Antitoxins cancel out the effect of toxins released by pathogens. So these antitoxins bind with and neutralize any toxins that may be released by the bacteria. So then for the exam, you should be able to describe the role of the immune system in terms of white blood cells helping to defend against pathogens by antitoxin production. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE Biology course. See you there.